If you also want to change your normal looking Kali Linux terminal to something like this, this video is for you. In this video, I am going to teach you how you can change the appearance of your terminal and make it look better. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, you have to determine which desktop environment you are using. In my case, I am using XFCE, which is the default Kali Linux desktop environment, but the process is almost similar for all environments. Every environment has its own terminal application, and settings vary slightly depending on your terminal app. On your system, open your terminal application and look for the appearance settings. In my case, they're found under File and the Preferences. Our first option is Font. We can skip this option for now, but you can choose a different font if you like. Next, we have the color scheme. I'm selecting green on black, but feel free to pick a color combination that suits you. Moving on, we can adjust the scroll bar position. I'm setting it to no scroll bar. We'll leave the tab position alone for now. The cursor shape is up to you. I prefer the underlined cursor. After that, tick all the following boxes which I am ticking. Next, let's check the boxes at the bottom of the window. We can set both application transparency and terminal transparency to 0% for a fully opaque look. Background images are optional. You can add one if you'd like. Finally, the terminal margin can be set to 10%. After making your selections, click Apply and then OK to apply the changes. Your terminal will then look similar to this. We've completed the first step. Now let's take your terminal to the next level and customize its appearance. To make things easier, I've created a special bash script on GitHub. You will find the link in description. This script allows you to personalize your terminal with a custom banner, including your name and even add some handy commands. For using it, open your terminal and clone the repository using the following command. Navigate to the downloaded directory using the cd command. Edit the file named shell using the nano text editor. On line 5, you can replace enter your name with your desired username. Once you've made your changes, save and exit Nano using the standard shortcuts. After that, grant the script permission to run by entering the provided command. Finally, execute the script with the last command and witness the transformation. Your terminal should now sport a sleek new look ready for action. While your terminal is ready to use, Let's make it persistent so it automatically launches whenever you open a terminal. This way, you can access your customized shell from any directory. Use the provided command to view the path of your executables, often locations like bin. Choose a path where executable files are commonly stored. Copy your shell file to the chosen location using the terminal. The specific command will depend on your chosen path. Now, you can execute your custom shell from any directory, by simply typing shell. As a demonstration, even though I'm currently in the downloads directory where the shell file isn't located, I can still run it successfully. To make your custom shell launch automatically at startup, we need to edit your shell configuration file. This file controls how your terminal behaves when it opens. First, identify your current shell using the provided command. It could be Z shell or bash. Navigate to your home directory and use the provided command to reveal hidden files, including configuration files. Depending on your shell type, edit the corresponding configuration file. For Z shell, edit the zshrc file, and for bash shell, edit the .bashrc file. Open the file with your preferred editor. I am using nano. Now scroll down to the bottom of file and simply type shell. Now exit and save the file. Now. Type the last command, and you are all done. Now, whenever you open your terminal, your customized shell should automatically launch instead of the default one. I have also defined two custom commands in this shell. Like whenever you type home in your shell, you will move to the home directory. And whenever you type serve, it will start a simple HTTP server. I will update this shell in future. If you want to know how I coded this shell, Comment down in the comments sections. All right, everyone, that's it for today. If you find the video useful, please have a subscribe and like. It motivates us to make more better content for you.